Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy. Gave me that in this episode. We are going to change our uh, plan a little bit from what I started with. Um, so you guys told me in the comments, first of all, that... Well, there's a couple comments uh, that have led me to uh, change my mind about things. First of all, I guess the uh, the Frankenstein is is a container that you can actually fill all the way up. And that wasn't uh, obvious uh, to me in the last video when I was using it. Um, so you, you can actually keep dumping dirt in until it completely fills up. And so, you know, you treat it like, a, like another hopper or container, which is a little bit odd, but I guess maybe not. I don't know. So that's something I didn't know. And then the second thing is, is you, you guys were telling me that, um, you know, rather than dump the dirt straight into the D rocker, it's still not a bad idea to, to fill this up because what you can do is, you know, you can dump the dirt in here and then, you know, bring it up uh, well, I'm not the D rocker. I'm sorry. The glacier Creek, fill the glacier Creek and then turn the, turn everything off and then, you know, fill this up and then fill the conveyor belt up. So that way you kind of have like a big old load running through the wash plant. And I think, you know, probably the advantage to that is that, you know, in the meantime, you can shut the wash plant down and you're not running it as, uh, as often, uh, which in turn is then going to, you know, save on parts breaking down and fuel and that sort of thing. So uh, what I want to do then is I want to, I, I want to kind of rethink the Frankenstein placement and so, as you can see, I've marked these uh, tiles here out to our first real hot spot. So if we look at the map here, you can see that's that's this area here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig, uh, basically, I'm going to redo our, our road. You know, I had started it over here because I wanted to kind of hit into this gold. And we still might do that. I don't know. We'll see. But I want to get to the, you know, to the really good stuff. And, you know, and dig this out and then reposition the Franks so that they're coming straight out from here for this first hot spot. And then, you know, as we move up into these other hot spots later on, we'll, <clears throat> we'll figure out a different plan. But for now, I think that makes a little more sense rather than, you know, trying to get the Franks to, to go, you know, this way and then this way and then this way over to here. It makes more sense to go straight on. So that is what is going to happen here. All right, so that means I've got a bunch of crap dirt that we need to dig out. So I'm going to, I'm not even going to bother moving anything right now in terms of, you know, the Frankenstein or anything like that. We're just going to jump right on into our um, uh, front loader here, and we'll change our view. Whoops. It's been uh, a little while since I've last played gold rush uh, for those of you who did, do not know this uh, i was out of town for eight days on a business trip um and then you know prior to that i had just been working on some other videos too so it's been a while but you know we are now back in the gold rush game and we're going to keep uh, keep going for at least a few more episodes i mean we are you know let's just face it we are kind of getting to the end here um, I just want to, you know, I just wanted to experience the game all the way to the end. But kind of the thing is, at this point, is uh, aside from, you know, getting a couple more francs, there's not really anything else to spend our money on. So even though, you know, we can make a whole bunch of money, uh, for, for what purpose, right? <laughs> we're not, you know, we're not in a contest or anything like that. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, I, I'm definitely planning on a few more episodes. I, I want to get into the really rich gold and just kind of see you know, what kind of cleanouts we can pull out with this tier five equipment. Uh, so we're definitely going to, you know, do that until we, you know, until I get to the point where, okay, so I, I see what can, we can do. And then we'll probably think about wrapping up the episode there. Now, for those of you who um, enjoy simulation games, if you don't already know this, I do play Farming Simulator 22, and I have re more recently gotten into American Truck Simulator. And I have the wheel... The uh, Thrustmaster TH8 stick shifter. I've got the track IR, head tracking, all the equipment that you want for simulators. And so, you know, go check, go ahead and check those videos out. Especially, you know, once I, if you only watch me play Gold Rush, uh, once I'm finished with Gold Rush, you know, you might consider uh, checking some of those out if you want to keep uh, keep watching on the channel. 
Okay, so anyway, uh, let me go ahead and just do some digging here for a bit, and then when we get to a point where we can probably think about repositioning the frank, I'll bring you back at that point, and then we will we'll get that set up and see you know how things go. Alright guys, I think we have Doug as far in as we need to to get started. Um, that texture glitch thing is just a constant pain in the butt. It's, it's sort of kind of useful because, you know, you can kind of see in and everything, but yeah, it, it's a pain in the butt. But anyway, where the excavator is sitting is the hot spot. Um, here, let's look at that for a second. Yeah, so the excavator is basically sitting right here, and I've dug um, most, well, pretty much all of these out because it's no longer showing any gold there. So now the next step is 
repositioning the Franks. And um, my screen is like really flickering too. Hopefully that's not coming through on the recording. Oh, that's weird. It seems to, when I turn the OBS monitor on, it seems to go away. But then when I turn it off, it goes, comes back. I don't know. I'm using kind of a temporary monitor setup anyway. Uh, you might even notice that the video is back to full screen now. And the reason for that is because my ultra widescreen monitor had some problems. So I ended up having to send it back to Samsung. It is under warranty uh, for them to fix it or replace it or whatever. Uh, so the next few next few videos I put out will will be back full screen uh, 1440 full screen until I get that monitor back. That is really weird though. It's uh goes away when I I usually don't keep the display on OBS on full time just because it takes more resources. But what I might do is keep it on this time if it's going to keep the flickering under control. I, I, again, I don't know if that's getting through onto the recording or not. I won't be able to tell that until I edit, but Okay, so let's see here. Um, how about if we park the excavator right here for now? And what I want to do is I want to move the Frank so that it's feeding the hopper. I talked about that earlier. And then we'll get the second Frank in place after that. So let's go over here. And jump on inside. Um, okay, so I'm just going to see if I can... Wait a minute. What's, uh, what's going on here? Why isn't that back over the... I'm like really confused. Somehow or another, oh, you know what? Sometimes vehicles kind of drift in this game. That that's must have been what happened cuz it should be like right over the top of the the plant, uh, but it's not. So that's okay. Okay. So what I want to do is swing it around this way. Uh, we're probably going to need to uh, operator mode, raise belt, lower belt, extend belt. What does lower belt do? Yeah, let's do that. Whoops, wrong button. All right, now, nope, we got to get back into drive mode now. There we go. Okay, let's turn around this way. Probably to about here. Okay, now we'll turn it this way. Oh, we are hitting the thing. Okay, so... Bring that up a little more. We're hitting it again. Okay, up a little more. Uh, no, I don't really want to turn that. There we go. We cleared it. Okay. All right. So what I think is we, we're going to want to kind of drive over to here. Oh, we're at the front loader. Okay. Let's drive over to here and then start kind of swinging it this way. Ideally, I'd kind of like it to be straight uh, or, or, you know, kind of close to the to the left wall there so we have enough room to maneuver in between. So let's go further this way. Yeah, something to that effect, I'm thinking. 
Okay, now let's back it up. And I want to see if it's over the hopper. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, we can back it up more. Let's go right to about here. That might be too far. Let's just see. Yeah, that was too far. Okay. Can I do this? <clears throat> yeah, that's all the further out I can zoom, so I can't really tell if it's directly below the... or above, rather, the hopper. Okay, let's try that. I want to say that's probably pretty good. Just right there. We actually have a little bit of dirt on here, too. But I'm just trying to think now, should I... Should I lower the back end of it? Uh, because I want to bring the other Frank in now, too. Um, hmm, is it going to fit, though? Well, it would if I if I shorten it up a little bit. Okay, here. And I think I'd really go... Wow, seriously? I can't believe it goes that steep. <laughs> wow. Okay. So we don't we definitely don't need it that steep. So let's uh let's bring it back down or yeah, back down in the front up in the back. Yeah, that's that's basically completely level with the machine itself. All right, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to leave it like that. And let's turn the belt on and just make sure it's positioned good. Now we might we might still have to tweak it later. We'll see. That looks pretty good to me, man. If anything, it could maybe move forward just a tiny bit more. No, we want to be in drive mode. Maybe right there. Okay. Um, operator mode. G turns the belt off. Okay. Okay, let's turn the machine off. All right, now, what we want to do is bring the other Frank down and position it along this wall to feed that hopper. And then we, uh, I should be able to start digging through here, back out, and kind of turn this way and then dump the dirt. I think we'll be able to do that. We're going to find out. We'll make it work one way or the other, even if I have to clear a little bit more of an area out. I'll tell you what, though, that took a long time to dig that out. I don't know. Probably, I'd say, two and a half to three hours of real time. I didn't do it all in one sitting. Um, but yeah, it took a little while <laughs> to dig all that out. It certainly did. Okay, let's get uh, into the other Frank and bring it over.
which is right here. And uh, I think we'll be able to make this work. These things are so cool, man. I wonder why they were named Frankenstein's, though. Just because it's a big monster of a machine, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Let's back her down. Now, of course, in the real world, I wouldn't drive over this water line. Um, but the game doesn't care, so we're just going to do it. Oh, nope. We want to go... I don't want to go down in the dippity do there. I imagine it'd be really interesting operating one of these in real life just because the thing is so dang big, you'd have to really be situationally aware. Well, not situationally, positionally <laughs> aware of where the thing's at. Are we going to bottom out? No, I think we'll be okay. Uh, you know what, though? Are we... Okay, hold on. Here, you know what? I'm going to log out and back in to get rid of that texture glitch. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back in, and yes, we are... brushing up against the back wall there. So I'm going to have to kind of maneuver a little bit to get everything in position. And if we have to, you know, we can we can shorten up the front crank a little bit. But I don't think we will. I think we can get this to work. I mean, we're already pretty lined up right there. So we'll bring this back down to here. All right, now what we want to do is get into operator mode and raise the belt. Hmm. Yeah, that's all the higher we're going to be able to raise it like that. So I think what we're going to need to do is extend that. We're going to have to raise the other frank up quite a ways in the air, which I don't think will be a problem. All right, so let's um, let's hop out of here. We're just gonna have to, you know, make sure then that this is still over the hopper, and we might have to experiment with it, test it a couple of times before it's right. All right, so let's go to Z, operator mode, and we want to lower the belt, raise the belt. Hmm, this could be interesting. Okay, let's drive this forward a little bit. Okay, so that's as as far as it's going to go. Well, <laughs> that's quite a drop, isn't it? Um, okay. Yeah, I can't really tell from here if that's... It looks to me like it's maybe not quite far enough over, but we can't really tell until we start feeding dirt into it. It almost, too, it almost looks like it needs to turn to the right just a little bit. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, let's just assume that's okay for the moment so we can test it. And... Uh, okay, so now... Hmm. We can extend this, but we can't raise it any higher. I don't think. 
Yeah, that's as high as it's going to go. Oh, man. What a pain. Okay, what do we... I got to think about this. There's got to be a way we can do this. Just got to figure it out. I mean, that's almost... Almost good enough. I wonder if the game would actually pick it up. It does need to turn this way just a tiny bit, too. Like maybe to there. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's just about perfect. Uh, it's, I mean, in, in reality, though, you'd want it to be a above the belt a little more, but that could work. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Um, okay, so... The only way we're going to know for sure is if we put some test dirt on it. Okay, so let's put the parking brake on. Turn the belt on. Wow. Okay. We'll turn that belt on. Okay, let's just throw some dirt in it and see what happens. Did I put the parking brake on in this this rig? I did. Okay. Couldn't remember. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm going to hop in here so I can get the higher view. I just want to see if the dirt's going to transfer. I think it will. No, it doesn't. It falls out. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I thought that was going to work, man. Um, okay. So, yeah, that isn't going to work. You look at it all, like, freaking out down there. Uh, let's bring this back up again. Let's go into driver mode. And clear that. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good. That actually went down further. And we can extend the, the second frank. So now the question is, is, is this still over the hopper? <laughs> Look how high up in the air that is. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, it could be. It's just really too hard to tell from here. Because uh, I did move it forward a little bit, too. Okay, brake is on. Now, all we should have to do here is just extend the belt a little further so it's over the other one. Okay, so extend is R. Like that. There's no reason why that won't work. I can't, I can't think of a reason why that wouldn't work. In fact, maybe even... 
Um, pull it back just a hair. Okay, let's try it again. Get in there. It's going to be tight for a little while, but as things open up, of course, it'll get better. Okay, we got a full bucket there. Okay, let's see what happens. I don't see why this won't work. It should work just fine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, now the next thing is... Yep, nothing's falling out. Now the next thing is, is this going to hit the hopper? I think it will, but we will find out here in a moment. Just as long as a high wind doesn't come up and <laughs> blow all the dirt away. Okay, here it comes. I think we got this, you guys. It's still a little bit far to the front, but I don't I, I don't think I think the game's allowing that. I think we got this. Okay, very cool, man. Very cool. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to fill the plant up. I need I want to get the the back or not the back oh the what's this thing called excavator out of the way. There was one individual a long time ago that was watching me play this game. That got a little upset that I was calling this a back hoe and I told the guy to chill the hell out, but <laughs> still I don't know if he's still watching. He probably isn't, but I know it is an excavator, so I try and call it that. But if I call it a backhoe once in a while, I call it a backhoe once in a while. You know, get over it, right? It's not that big a deal. It's more important things to worry about in the world. Anyway, um, let's go here. And we want to raise this up. Now we get some crap weather, so. And I'm just going to move this guy out of the way for now. We probably won't need to use him anytime soon. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to I want to fill the wash plant up first. So that means we only want to turn on the conveyor and the hopper. So the idea is we fill up the wash plant, and then we turn off the conveyor and the hopper, and we fill up the hopper. Then we turn on. Uh, um, oh, and then we. I guess we turn this one off to fill this conveyor belt up, and then we turn this one off and fill that one up, and then we run the whole thing, and then we're essentially getting, you know, four big loads going into the wash plant all at once. And again, I'm uh, the the benefit of that 
is that we're not running the wash plant as often and therefore stuff doesn't break down and fuel isn't consumed as quickly. Um, whether or not it's actually faster to do it that way, I don't know about that, but it's going to be more efficient for, for those other reasons. We should probably also move our light. Uh, yeah, let's just jump into the pickup truck and we'll move the light down further into there since the weather just went bad on us. And that way we'll be able to see a little bit better. But we'll disconnect this fuel tank. 